You were briefing the next president, and he or she said, are our humanitarian programs working? Your answer would be? Not very well. Uh, I think that some of them are, but they need to uh, be better organized. We have to make sure that our departments work together better. What should the next Secretary of State and the next President be doing to reorganize these, these aid programs? Well, I think there's going to have to be a look generally at how, at the priorities in terms of how, for instance, climate change issues become a part of looking at aid programs. It all goes together. Uh, and whether what needs to be done is to have uh, more, um, I say this with difficulty as a former Secretary of State, to have more um, centralization coming out of the White House to coordinate. Uh, how to get the National Economic Council and the National Security Council to work together better, how to look at a better integration between the Department of Agriculture and the Department of State and the Department of Defense, the Department of Treasury that in fact controls the international financial institutions. So it does require just much more of a of a cooperation within the government itself. And that should come out of the White House? I think there has to be. I may live to regret that statement, but, but I think that if something is really coming out of the White House, uh, there is, in fact, a sense of priorities. And the next president has to set the priority. Should the military be playing the role it's playing in humanitarian aid now? Not in the way this all began. But let me just say this. The State Department does not have airplanes, uh, and it does not have teams that can just kind of arrive as special forces do. So there needs to be more cooperation. And I, what happened, uh, I think, during this war is that the State Department, um, it is a war after all, and therefore the Defense Department is in charge. But there was not enough forward leaning in terms of some of the reconstruction efforts. There are efforts now through these reconstruction teams uh, to put a combination of military and civilian people on the ground. And as I said, Secretary Gates has been interested in getting more power back into the State Department. But there's some things the State Department can't do. Uh, there are many things the Defense Department can't do. And so that is where the National Security Council and the National Security Advisor comes in to try to get them to cooperate better. Over the past several years, USAID has been brought increasingly into the State Department. You know something about that. Some have called for it to be a, an independent cabinet-level agency. What do you make of that? Our assistance programs, I think, do have to uh, have some correlation with what our policy is. Um, and I think that there are, as I said, I've been through so many reorganizations of this that I think it's hard to see it as a totally independent agency. But it does require more support. Uh, and it does require understanding the national security aspect of development and assistance. And so um, I am all for it getting more money. I think structurally it has to be a part of how the State Department operates.